Hi and welcome to Profex Tutorials. This is the first video in a series of online tutorials I'm going to publish. And in this part I'm going to demonstrate how to install and set up Profex on all three platforms. We will start with Windows 10, but I will leave timestamps to macOS and Linux in the description below, so you can jump directly to these platforms. This is a fresh installation of Windows 10. The first thing we need to do is download Profex from the website. So we go to profex-xrd.org and then to the download page for Windows. And now we have to choose if we want to use the installer or the portable bundle. The installer will install Profex in the program files folder, but for that we need administrator access. If we don't have administrator rights, we can use the portable bundle and extract it anywhere on the hard drive. How to use the portable bundle is described here in this section. I'm going to use the installer, which is the preferred option for most users. Now we have to choose either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. For Windows 10, select 64-bit. 32-bit is only used for older versions of Windows. So we download the file. And here we go. If we run the installer, we will see a warning because the file is not signed with a certificate. So we have to click more info and then run anyway. Now we will just click through the installer. Next. We will install it in the default location and we install everything, Profex, the, the bundled uh, templates and the BGMN. So we click next. We have to accept the open source license. Create a start menu, entry and install. Now we can run Profex. But it will show a warning because we are running it for the first time and the location of BGMN has not been set up yet. We can run auto configuration as suggested, so click yes. And it should be successful, like here. Now it asks if we want to index all of the bundled reference structures. We click yes and it starts to index the included files. This is going to take a while. What it is doing now is uh, it is running BGMN to calculate the HKL line positions for all the structure files that are included with Profex. When indexing is uh, completed, uh, we might see a, a, a dialog showing files that could not be indexed. There was a problem with the file ferrite, um, something wrong in the structure file, so we will just ignore it for the moment and close this. Now Profex is ready for use. Now we switch to Mac OS X and I'll show you how to install Profex on this system. We go to the website to the download page for OS X and right at the top we will find a link to the compressed uh, disk archive we can download. It includes Profex, BGMN and all the template files. We can mount the archive by clicking on it and we'll see the folder containing Profex and BGMN. We can move this entire folder to the Applications directory of OS X. Always move the entire folder. And inside we will find the application binary for Profex and we can link it in, in the Docker, for example. 
At this point, uh, Profex is still running in quarantine mode. So the operating system is preventing it from accessing the structure files or BGMN. To fix this, we have to type one command into the terminal. The terminal can be found in uh, the applications folder in the subfolder utilities. So applications, utilities, and here's terminal. The command we have to enter is given on the Profex website right here. It's in the FAQ section. So we type exactly this command into the terminal. Enter the uh, administrator password and that's it. Back to Profex. We can run it now. Auto configuration, yes. Index structure files, yes. And now it will start to index all the structure files. I will speed this up. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, indexing is complete. Profex is now ready for use and we will move on to the Linux platform. On Linux, we need to compile Profex uh, from source. As far as I know, there is no, it's not in any repository of, of any of the major distributions yet. So um, first of all, we will download the source code of Profex from the Profex website. We go to download Linux and here we can get the source code. We also need the binaries for BGMN for 64-bit platforms. So we download this too. And we should also download the structure and device templates here. So next we need to prepare our system to compile C++ code. So we need to install a compiler and a bunch of libraries. We do this from a terminal. By the way, this is a fresh installation of Debian 10 with the Mate desktop environment. We need to be root in order to install software. And the first package we're going to install is called Build Essential. Next, we will install the Qt5 library. The package is called uh, Qt5 default. And just to be sure that uh, additional Qt modules are installed, let's go to the website again. profex-xrd.org On the Linux download page, it lists some additional uh, dependencies, so let's install these two. Now the system should be ready to compile Profex. The downloaded source code should be in the download folder. Here it is. I unpack the archive and I go, I change to the Profex folder. And now I have to run QMake with the switch R just in case to create and to force creation of a new make file. And now I can compile. Like 
like this. So it's compiled. Um, we can try and run it. The binary for profex is in the src subfolder. We can run it like this. And as on the other platforms, it will ask uh, if it should run auto configuration. Um, it doesn't make sense now because we haven't installed BGMN yet. So we say no. And here is profex. So next we will install BGMN. We downloaded uh, the binaries here. We don't need to compile it. Um, so we just extract it somewhere. And uh, I usually prefer to, to extract it in the opt folder. So first we need a root access. I will move it to opt. Here it is, and now I will extract it here. Now I have a folder BGMN 4.2.23 with the binaries and all the necessary files for BGMN. We also downloaded um, a BGMN templates the structure files and, and the device templates. We can extract them in somewhere in our home directory. For example, right here in the downloads folder. So I created a new folder, BGMN templates, right here in, in download. Or we can move it to documents. So now it's it's here in, in documents. Now I will move the profex binary we compiled before from the source code directory to user local bin. So now we should be able to run it from any place. Here we go. Now we can try and run uh, auto configuration. It says successful, so it found BGMN in the opt directory. And it asks if we would like to, to index the structure file repository now. We can say yes. And it will index all the structure files, just as on the other platforms. Now indexing is complete and Profex and BGMN are ready for use. Profex is now installed and set up on all platforms. However, if auto configuration or indexing failed for some reason, we have to fix the configuration manually. To demonstrate this, I created a corrupt installation on Windows 10 by uh, moving the BGMN folder from the installation directory of Profex to the desktop. So Profex will not be able to find BGMN when we start it. It will ask to run auto configuration again. And if I click yes, it will say that it auto detection failed and we will have to fix it manually in the following dialog. This is the preferences dialog. We can open from the edit preferences menu in Profex and it shows the page backend configuration. And now this using the bundled BGMN installation is not going to work. It would cause the same error message again. So we have to specify the location of BGMN manually. We click here and we navigate to the folder I created on the desktop, BGMN win. And first I have to select the BGMN executable file. It will also find the other associated uh, BGMN files, make GEQ, Geomet, Tile and Eflech automatically at the same location. 
So next time we start Profex, it will be using the BGMN files here from the folder on the desktop. If it didn't find the structure and device file repositories for some reason, we can also fix it manually in the preferences dialog on the page BGMN repositories. Now I just deleted them so we can add them back manually. All we have to do is specify one folder, at least one folder containing structure files and at least one folder containing instrument device files. So we click plus, we navigate to the location of our structure repository. I'm just adding the ones back inside the ones I deleted before inside the Profex program folder. It's called structures. And same for the device files. And the presets, which is now still an empty directory. That's it. And to start indexing the structure files manually, I can go to Tools and select Index Reference Structures. There's nothing to do now because they were already indexed before. This is it for the first episode of Profex Tutorials. If you have problems I did not address, uh, be sure to check out the FAQ section on the website. Um, you may find some additional information here and I will update it in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you publish your Profex results, please cite the paper linked at the bottom of the homepage here. It's this paper in Journal of Applied Crystallography. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.